Pat, another year where your athletic department is ranked among the top in the country in terms of overall sport performances, both athletically and academically. Before we get into the addition of the new schools and how it changes what you guys are doing, how proud are you of what you've accomplished in your time in State College? Um, oh, I, I, I can't say enough about it. I can't say enough about our 833 student athletes. I, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, we, when I came in two years ago, we wanted to talk about 31 teams and we're going to compete in everything. And so um, I'm just uh, really, really excited about where we're headed. Um, I think we've had a really good well-rounded year um, even if it was gymnastics wrestling football bat everybody has played a role in that success so it's exciting I think we're, we're poised for even better outcome in the years to come but uh, I feel I feel very blessed let's talk about a couple of those sports specifically and let's start with basketball with the first year Coach that came in and instantly put his fingerprint on what he wanted this program to be in terms of style of play in terms of never quitting what's your assessment of the job that Mike did in year one? Oh, I, I think it's great I think you know you don't really and, and he would tell you this I don't think you really realize what going through a Big Ten schedule is like and the ability to have I think we had three players on the roster when he took over built a team in 60 days and then to get them through the year to have some really big wins some some uh, you know ranked wins and you could see the progress happening I'm I'm overjoyed most importantly he's been huge in the community he loves being at Penn State I think he's done a masterful job with all facets of, of what the head coach at Penn State and in basketball really has to do uh, I, I'm really really excited about the future of that program um, but I, I, I think it's um, you know we're, we, we all want to win we want to keep winning I think he's like myself and all our coaches we won't be happy until we you can win everything, but I'm really, really happy where, it, where it's going. Another successful season in football, another big time bowl game for this program. Where is James's team in comparison to where you and he want it to be? Well, I think it's a little bit like what I just said about Rhodesy. It's like we, we want to win the whole thing, you know, and, and James and I continue to to work towards that together. I thought it was a really good year. Again, you know, you win 10 games and you win 10 games in the Big Ten, that's nothing to like blow your nose at. But we want to continue to, and we're, we're, we're always trying to evaluate where we are and how do we get better. I, I, I try to stress to everybody, we have to keep getting better and better in, in, in different ways. And I feel like the, the support is there from top to bottom. And so look at the playoffs coming. You know, we'll get in the playoff and go win some games. And, and eventually, uh, you know, Michigan, that, that's the prize. That's what we all want to do. And so we're going to work tirelessly to get to that point. And so that, that's the barometer at Penn State, especially when it comes to football. I know that every program wants to get better. I'm not sure your wrestling program can get much better. And not just this year. I mean, based on what Kale has done over the past decade, it's bordering on ludicrous now because the success is so overwhelming. They're winning national championships by bigger margins than the next eight, 10 teams are to second place. How do you even put into words what that program has become in terms of its dominance? Well, we're not satisfied. Um, we're uh, at Cal and, and, and the guys. You're looking for 10 national champions, individual national yes. champions? Yes. Uh, yeah, actually. Um, I, I think they, they are relentless. I, I, it is one of the most remarkable programs I've ever been around. It's one of the – Cal and Casey and Cody and the staff, how it operates is truly remarkable. I, I'm, I'm – all jokes aside, like we, we, there is no satisfaction there. Um, they got back after one national championship, they're back in the weight room on Monday. There is a laser focus to continue to get better. I think that's part of what we're talking about is that grind to constantly evolve and get better and better. And, and they are the epitome of that. And they don't let anything get in the way. Um, and they continue to do it in just such a, an amazing way. They're, they're like this all the time. And it is just kind of process oriented. We're just going to keep doing this and doing this and doing this. And um, it is, I get goosebumps thinking about it. I mean, just watching them operate and then have the success. And they're such a humble group. Um, they, they, they understand what it takes both on the mat and off the mat. It's, it's, it's a, I can't say enough about that, that program. No, trust true. me, I've seen you at some of the duels. You almost look like you're asking Kale to, to get in there and to wrestle well, for the team. First off, I get destroyed. I'd be wrapped up in a pretzel. I just don't know how you can't be that excited. I know everyone says that, but like, what are we talking about? I'm with you. I mean, we're manhandling people. It is, it's just, you know, and it's like all my athletes. Like, you you want to see them succeed. 
um, I get so excited for them to achieve their goals or help them get to their goals. So I, I you know, it is what it is, right? Like I'm gonna, I, I tell them I got your back, good and bad. And, and when they, you see them win four national championships and you know the grind they go, you know what they've sacrificed for, um, you know how hard they work and then they, it comes to the, that moment. It's like watching your kids succeed. And so uh, I'm very passionate about that. How will the addition of the four new schools to the league change the job that you have? It doesn't change it. I mean, look it. I don't care who we play. Like we'll play everybody. It doesn't matter. I think they're great institutions, great tradition. Um, you know, it changes the way we have to figure out financially how we we manage the travel, not only financially but academically, uh, from a health and wellness standpoint. Okay, we're putting you know athletes on the road for in a way. No matter how you shake it, coming back home it's eight hours, right? So I think that's the biggest challenge. We've been kind of studying that for a year um, to really look at how we can most effectively travel. But I, I, I'm excited. I think it's great. I know our athletes are excited, but we don't really pay any attention to anybody else but us. Um, I, I, we preach that top to bottom. It's about Penn State. It's about nobody else but Penn State. We control our own destiny. We control our own fate and put anybody up against us and we'll, we'll go try to beat them.